first one, approve the payroll claim dockets and the accounts payable claims number 28 to 95. <coughs> approve the treasurer's financial reports. Approve the monthly transfer from the education fund to the operations fund per board resolution. Approve to declare the presented list of electronics obsolete, recycled, sale, or disposal. Accept the resignation of the following. Approve to post the positions and grant permission to hire. So the first one is Seton Embry, South Spencer High School baseball assistant coach, effective January 27th of 2022. And Jake Barkley, South Spencer middle school track coach, effective January 27th, 2022. Approve the FMLA for the following. Casey Nellis, continuous FMLA from March 17th of 2022 to April 8th of 2022. And then approve out of state overnight transportation request, the high school marching band to Atlanta, Georgia, December 28th of 2022 to January 1st of 2023. Can I get a motion to accept? A motion. So Melissa motions, can I get a second? Second. Chris Brown will second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries 5-0. And then we have administrator recommendations. Um, the first one, upon the recommendation of the superintendent, approve the employment of Anna Green, Luce Elementary Head Cook, starting February 14th of 2022. <laughs> I move that we hire Anna Green as head cook at loose. Motion's made by Matt Bunner. Second. I'll second. George will second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 <clears throat> Motion carries 5-0. Um, number two, upon the recommendation of the superintendent, approve the employment of Reagan Lashley, eighth grade track coach, starting 2021 to 2022 season. May I get a motion? A motion. So Melissa motions. Please second. I'll second. Chris will second. <clears throat> And then all in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries 5-0. Upon the recommendation of the superintendent, approve the employment of Maddie Brown, Luce Elementary Title I Teaching Assistant, starting February 14th of 2022. Can I get a motion? A motion. A civil motion. A second. I'll second. George seconds. All those in favor? Aye. 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 I have to abstain. Related. So the motion carries 4 0. 4 1. 4 1. 4 1. 4 1. 4 1. 4 1. 4 1. 4 1. On the recommendation of the superintendent approve the employment of Maria Rust, South Spencer High School swim helper starting 2021-22 season. Can I get a motion? I'll make a motion. Chris will motion. A second. I'll second. George will second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries 5-0. And then number five, upon the recommendation of the superintendent, approve the employment of Seth Skelton, South Spencer High School Social Studies Academic Coach, starting with the 21-22 season. Can I get a motion for that? I move that we approve the employment of Seth Skelton for the academic uh, social studies coach. <coughs> and a second? I'll second. So Matt Bunner motions, Chris Brown seconds. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries 5-0. Oh, and I apologize. I've been, I haven't been doing the names. So I apologize. I'll start that too. 
Number six, upon the recommendation of the superintendent, approve the employment of Tamara Taylor, South Spencer High School softball assistant coach at 50%, starting with the 21-22 season. <coughs> Can I get a motion? I'll motion. Before we do that motion, is when it's listed here as three positions at 50%, 50%. is that need to be corrected or is that a 50% of a, of a pay amount or how does that work? I will need to double check on that because I, I was thinking the same thing as far as the 50-50 that we split one position and not the mm -hmm. other. Right. So um, how do we how do we do that? Let me, let me look back and see. Let me check it real quick. If it's in our <coughs> With the correction of the percentage. Mm -hmm. And then Chris seconds. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? And then number seven, upon the recommendation of the superintendent approve the employment of Carrie Thompson, South Spencer High School softball assistant coach at 33 and a third percent, starting with the 21-22 season. I'll make a motion. So Chris will motion. I'll second. George seconds. All those in favor? Aye. 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 I have to abstain because she's engaged to my nephew. The motion carries 4 0 with one abstaining. And upon the recommendation of the superintendent, approve the employment of Kendall Thompson, South Spencer High School softball assistant coach, at the 33 and a third percent, starting with the 21 22 season. I'll motion. So Melissa will motion. A second? I'll second that recommendation. Matt Bunner will second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? So the motion carries 5-0. And then we have new business of the board. Upon the recommendation of the superintendent, approve the end of the year transfer of appropriations from one account to another within the education fund and operation fund as presented. Can I get a motion? I'll make a motion. Chris will motion. And a second? A second. Melissa will second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries 5-0. I would like to add one more thing to do business of the board. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd like to make a motion that we uh, add to the March board meeting uh, on the agenda for discussion on this 27 acres. That way it's part of the agenda and we can have a discussion over it. <coughs> I'll make a motion. <coughs> Does that need a discussion? Does that need a motion, or we? I mean, I'm I'm supportive of it. I, you know, I'd rather move quicker than later. But at the same point in time, I mean, if the board would want to meet sooner than that to have discussion, I would be open to that as well. To sit here and, and push off that a year is silly. You know, we're coming into winter when surveying and all the things that are involved in that are are done. I'm going to step in. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when you're discussing the potential sale of property, property you yes. can actually do that in an executive session. So you can schedule that and notice it okay. to the public. And I would recommend you do that. Okay. You don't necessarily need to have discussions about terms and things of that nature and sort of publish what your strategy is going to be if you decide to sell. <laughs> right. Or even timing and that sort of thing, just for those who might be interested. So executive session would be inappropriate. Okay. That's what I'll be. Thank you.
right, and then we have the information items. So all of these were written reports to the board. Um, we had a technology report, a maintenance report, a transportation report, and a new volunteers report. And then are there any statements or concerns of the board? I do, if no one else does. Uh, we had the special meeting last last week where we had a gentleman from the public get up and talk about Robert's rules of order and transparency. And I can't agree more with what he said. I also was disappointed when we did not thank him for getting up and speaking on behalf like we've done everyone else that has gotten up and spoke. So uh, in regards to transparency, there are several fine things that I have reached out to this board about over the last couple of weeks, and Dr. Rutherford has too, and we've not gotten any answers. So I'm just gonna ask those questions tonight publicly. <clears throat> the first one was last week, I went to the central office to discuss tonight's business as well as the uh, special meeting for last week. And it was conveyed to me by multiple people that uh, our board president went to the superintendent and tried to offer her support for legal counsel for his backing of a CTA member to receive a stipend. And I would like to know, since I haven't been able to get that in, in writing when I've requested it, if there's an answer there. And you can respond when I'm done with the questions that I ask, or you can put something together and present it. That would be great too. Second question that I have is, we have uh, a board president who has not answered as to whether or not they have met privately with our CTA group, their members, the Uniserve director, or the discussion team on things outside of a public meeting or in joint emails where we all are made abreast of what is going on. The third one is, I've had several teachers in the last two weeks come up to me and talk about the contract that we proposed uh, versus what they got and it was the exact wording that they used was awful or poor for teachers and so I asked them for clarification as to what they were talking about and there were a lot of things that were mistruths about what this board and this superintendent and myself as the negotiating uh, person for the board spoke about and I'll just to give an example of one of the items was listed that uh, you know we tried to go to bat for all the teachers to make the top of the scale at 21 years and the CTA came back that it was 25 years is what they agreed to and in doing that it was pretty disheartening because the teachers that I talked to said it was the opposite that it was the CTA going to bat for uh, that in the contract not us that we were the guys on, on the bad the bad guys on that so I would recommend that this board uh, also convey to the CTA and the people that are in that association, request a copy of the contract that they agreed to as well as the contract that was proposed so that that information can be conveyed honestly and openly. And then the last thing I have here is, we sat here in January and I kind of sat and ate it. I made the motion to move Chris to president from the vice uh, president position to have three of my board members, including my current president, uh, overrule that voting without any comment, any discussion, nothing was said. If that is what the intent of the board was to do, how about some professional courtesy? I apologize, Chris, you didn't deserve that in a meeting. You know, if, if, if I were gonna make that move, I would've called you and said, hey, I'm gonna let you know I'm not gonna be supporting your, rec your recommendation may want to abstain or pull yourself out of that. And it wasn't done. And I would think that that would be the only time that this has been done, but it's been done to a special ed teacher, it's been done to a coach, it's been done for the hiring of coaches, it's been done for the dismissal of coaches. Um, I ask that in the area of, you know, that we do what's best for this corporation, we are the mirror in which our community looks at. And I think these questions deserve answers. I think people have stood up over the last 14 months and asked questions and got arms crossed, no answers, no feedback. So that's my questions for the board tonight.
any other statements or concerns? meeting date, the next regular meeting of the board will be Monday, March 14th at 2022, tw March 14th, 2022 at 6 p.m. here in the multi-purpose room at the high school. So time for adjournment at 620. I Are move you that we adjourn. Matt will motion. Second. I'll second. Principal second. All in favor? All right. Aye. 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 Any opposed? Do what? Why did you give that to Kathy? Yes.